Hey, parents of teen drivers. Today we're gonna to be talking about seat belts. All right, I know it seems kind of obvious, but I have run into some of these issues before, and I don't know if any of you know my backstory. Uh, a seat belt actually saved my life when I was five years old. Uh, my parents and I and my sister were in a, a really bad car accident where we were T-boned, uh, and this was back in the days before car seats or whatever, and I was sitting in the front seat with the seat reclined all the way back, but I had my seat belt on, and what happened was, in my five-year-old body, uh, we, we were hit so hard that the seatbelt actually held me in the vehicle. Otherwise, I'd have been thrown out and it ended up rupturing my spleen and appendix. And so those organs had to be removed in an emergency surgery at that time. And I spent two or three weeks in the ICU. It was a terrible, terrible deal. So seatbelts have always been very, very important to me, even when I was a teenager. Uh, and so they're very important to me as well still now. And I think sometimes people think, you know, with all the modern technology and everything that we have these days, that, you know, proper seatbelt usage isn't that important. The, stat, the, the data out there and the statistics are unequivocally dead on point that people need to wear seat belts. And I think we've gotten pretty good at it as a society. There's still some people out there who say, hey, I have an airbag. I don't need to wear a seat belt. Well, lucky you, you have an airbag. And so seat belt plus airbag equals even more safe. And so all of the new technology that we have on cars are making things safer. But there is a proper way to wear a seat belt. And I'm in a parked car, so it's not a big deal. But you know, you want to make sure that the seat belt is tightly uh, fastened up against your shoulder and you can't really see down here, but that it's snug against your, um, your, your waist as well. And so basically what happens when you're in a car accident and you're hit either from the side or the front or whatever, the, all of the, all of the, um, the, the, the momentum of your body, the car stops or the car goes a different way. And so the, um, all the energy is transferred to your shoulder and your, your hip bones. Okay. And so that makes it to where, um, you can distribute all that pressure much more evenly. And the reason why we see so many whiplashes, right, is because when it stops, you know, the, the body hits and the seatbelt locks in and then it pulls you back. So we're risking the potential of a neck injury instead of having much more damaging injuries to our face and chest and even being thrown out of the vehicle and potentially dying. So seatbelt usage is very, very important. You definitely don't want to wear it underneath the arm. Uh, I've, I've read in their statutes in other states that even improperly worn seatbelts can still get you a ticket. So you want to make sure that you're teaching your team to make sure that they have a seatbelt and then it's comfortable and then they're wearing it all the time and it's one of the first things that they do anytime that they get into uh, a vehicle and you also want to make sure if they're if they're carrying around any younger children say they have any little brothers or sisters or cousins that those children are properly fastened not only in the seat belt but if they're young enough that they're in the proper um, car seat or safety restraint uh, you know booster seat or something like that because it's very, very, very important. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not going to go on the highway, I, it's, it's, so I don't need to wear a seatbelt. Well, most accidents happen under 25 miles an hour. They happen within like 2 or 2.5 miles of your home. So most of the time, accidents aren't going to, that, that logic is not going to work. You want to make sure that you're always buckling, you're creating that habit, and that you're, cre you're showing your teens that you do it, and they do it, lead by example, and make sure that everybody is buckling up every single time that they are in the car uh it's extremely important and you know there are there they're just you know you don't want to get a workaround on on seat belt usage this is a very 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 wonderful device and then i've also seen it this is another quick tip uh, when you are in an accident and uh, the airbags deploy, there's four or five different um, different qualifications for it. But if the airbags deploy or it was a certain miles an hour or whatever, you want to make sure that your insurance company is actually going to replace your seatbelts because there's some safety mechanisms built into the seatbelts that you want to make sure are fresh and new and haven't been used in that previous collision. So any questions about anything like this, uh, seatbelts are near and dear to my heart, literally, right? Um, and we want to make sure that we're wearing them and we're doing the things that are proper. So leave a comment. Uh, tell me how Seatbelt has saved somebody or you and your family. Or feel free to de send me a direct message and I'm happy to talk about this type of thing offline. So again, Seth Smiley from the Smiley Law Firm here with another edition of the Parents of Teen Drivers Facebook group. Thank you.